guys so it's me Elaine I'm back with another video I wanted to update you guys on my scar treatment journey so last Thursday I went in for a dermatology appointment and I had subcision and TCA cross done on my face and I don't know if you guys know what subcision is but basically they take a no gore needle and um, they go underneath the skin and they try to break up the scar tissue and the bands that are holding down the uh, holding down the scar, which give it give, which gives it its sunken appearance, and it leaves rolling scars and things like that. So, um, that's basically what subcision is: is to help break the scar tissue so that the scar will elevate. And um, the next thing I did was TCA cross, and TCA cross is when they take trichloroacetic acid. <laughs> I can't really say it, and they target the areas like where you have ice pick scars or box box car scars and they put like a high concentration of TCA into the scar and um, it basically produces an inflammatory reaction but also it helps produce collagen regrowth and helps the scar um, plump up to the rest of um, the surrounding skin and so that's what I had done um, I was really nervous going in because I didn't know how painful subcision was going to be and um, it was actually pretty painful. Um, I had local anesthesia, um, they injected me with local anesthetic so basically my doctor, because I have a lot of scarring on this side, he um, injected the local anesthesia and after that kicked in then he put the TCA cross and like basically he was just trying to put the TCA all over my scars and you could see them right here like all these brown spots and scabs they're basically the the result of the TCA cross and I've had it done before when I did my first microneedling treatment I didn't really notice a huge drastic change in my scars but I just decided to do it again because it's recommended that you have at least two to four treatments of TCA cross so I went ahead and did that and I was also doing a lot of research and it said that in order for you to um, get the best results you want to do TCA and subcision together before doing any surgery I mean before doing any laser treatment like CO2 lasers or Airbnb lasers and a lot of people don't know that um, um, some people just go ahead go ahead and do the laser treatment without having the surgery done and what the surgery does is it helps elevate the scars and then the and then the um the laser treatments just finish it off and help you look a lot better like help your scars look a lot better so i'm actually thinking of getting airbnb laser done eventually but i'm still healing from my subcision subcision treatment um let me just tell you that you know everyone has their own pain tolerance level but um, I felt it like I felt him go inside and basically when they put the needle inside they they um, move the needle back and forth and up and down and try to break up the scar tissue and I felt I felt it at times and it was pretty painful um, but you know I guess with any treatment that you have that's invasive because subcision is invasive it's gonna be a little painful after the procedure, I was extremely red and swollen. Like, I looked like I had two big apples on my cheeks. And I was really embarrassed to leave the um, the clinic because everyone I didn't want anyone to look at me. And I had to pay for the treatment and my face was all red. But, you know, it, it is a dermatology center, so they probably see those patients, like, every day. Um, and the subcision cost... Um, three hundred dollars, and then the TCA cro uh, cross cost um, two fifty. I want to say per treatment. Um, I'm spending a lot of money on my treatments, you know, um, because they are cosmetic procedures. They're not covered by insurance. So if you guys, actually, I don't know. Maybe by most insurances, it doesn't cover cosmetic procedures. So um, that's why it's so important that if you do have cystic acne or the type of acne that scars that you go ahead and treat that early so that you don't have to pay for scar treatment after you're, um, you're clear. Um, I will give you a close up of what my skin looks like. Um, as of right now, my skin's still kind of poofy from, or poofy, sorry, kind of swollen from the procedure. I do have a little bit of bruising here. 
the first couple days, which was Friday night and Saturday, my skin um, or my face was pretty swollen and tender to the touch. The first day I um, put ice on my face to kind of help with the swelling and then I also took a Tylenol because it was really painful. Um, but now the swelling has subsided. Each day that passes by, the swelling goes down and the scabs um, will start to fall off soon within the next couple of days. I try, I'm not going to pick my scabs. You're not supposed to do that. They're supposed to fall off um, by themselves and just peel off, peel away. Um, they don't really feel like thick scabs. They're actually pretty thin. Like, imagine like you have a dry skin patch. That's what it feels like. And you, and they basically are like really thin patches of, um, yeah, just the TCA. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to seeing the results. It's only been, it hasn't even been a week yet. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that I'll get at least a 35 to 50% improvement because with the microneedling that I had with the um, Eclipse micro pen, I didn't see that much improvement and I should have um, did my research a lot more that microneedling, it does only, it, it's, it doesn't help as much as you would, you would think it does because um, it's meant for like superficial scarring and I have a lot of atrophic um, moderate to, to severe scarring on my, like my left cheek and my temples. Um, I actually talked to my dermatologist about that and he recommended fillers for that, but that's another video. I, right now I'm just trying to focus on my subcision and TCA cross treatment. Um, my recovery time varies. It can last from anywhere to 7 to 14 days, depending on how your face and your skin heals and your age and all that stuff. But um, it looks like I am healing nicely and um, I'm looking forward to sharing the results with you guys because uh, I am still recovering um, and yeah I just hope that this treatment was worth it and I hope that you guys can um, learn something from it if you guys are looking into subcision or TC cross treatments. Um, yeah, so that's it. I will talk to you guys later and I hope you guys have a great uh, December break. Bye!